lovely people. My name is Sonia Bakus. I'm based in Tony Stratford, fine art artist, art presenter and art teacher. Today I would like to talk and show to you how to do Egyptian art and walking like Egyptian picture. We need piece of white paper. Doesn't have to be big, but I think it will be quite reasonable to use A3 size and then it can it can turn as a family fun because what I would like you to do is a portrait of one of your family members so it can be your mom your dad or your child I printed my daughter this is a little bit too big for this um, size so I printed her profile so not the front have to be profile. Why have to be profile? Because we're going to really copy Egyptian style of painting. And not because they struggle with perspective, it's just because for thousand years they decide to follow one main rule, how to show human silhouette. So that's why we have this funny saying, walking like Egyptian, because they always, usually, most of times, painted human silhouette or their gods silhouettes always face as a profile shoulders front legs again on the side turning hips to the side but funny enough i will take my glasses for a second an eye when you face that way an eye is shown on the front side so this is what happened already here with this picture i got my daughter profile but i'm going to glue her eye but i was i, I couldn't get nice photo you don't have to use family members you can use any mm, photos from journals from newspaper and as long as a profile so you can glue it cut it out and glue it on plain paper and then i draw tiny little eye not a very realistic one so oh, that's it so i will glue now it is a fun because it does turn a little bit like a new style picasso style almost face but that's that's the part of fun right i will kind of cover okay so already look a little bit interestingly and this is one of example i will well is if you go online you will find a lot of uh, pictures of Egyptian art and Egyptian paintings amazingly these paintings were painted in tempera uh, based on yolk medium and some colors remain for thousand years on change so you you can really clearly see the collar the the necklace face but i again you can see is like front so i will use straight away dark outliner ballpoint pen pen but Mm, you can start with pencil. I just because of lack of time. I really gonna uh, get on with so let's make Josephine my daughter arms like this Right the back one it turned quite on on real way this way usually torso is like trapezoid shape some skirt I will already draw shape for famous Egyptian necklace right and then we have double folded skirt and then I hope you can see it right 
legs I obviously simplify and I don't really draw exactly copy of my <laughs> daughter Josephine but can you see the front legs I think you can right and then now I can color I will use pencil but you can use uh, mm, as well paint if you have slightly harder mm, thicker mm, uh, paper I, I will color quickly her skin with tan brown color it match to, to to this photo we have to remember this is the only one of many examples oh sorry I will switch off my phone I beg your pardon we have to remember that this is one of many examples of Egyptian art. Egyptian art is generally monumental. We have pyramids, we have huge sculptures, so huge sculpture is called monument, so that's why we call Egyptian art monumental art, but as a contrast to monumental art, we have also lots of small little sculpture, little figurines, which quite often Egyptian put into pharaoh or noblemen or women graves. So these little figurines supposed to be their servants, their mm, cooks, their mm, family members as a symbol. So we can now do little more uh, coloring like I'm gonna be really fast so not very tidy but on that occasion you can also look uh, how beautiful um, jewelry Egyptian jewelry is how interesting I'm, I'm using now turquoise color the next line it is a little bit like a doubles I will use also a red between as a ruby stone. They had lapis lazuli, very expensive stone. And also later in, in late period of Egyptian art, we know, know now that the Egyptians were excellent painters of portraits. If we go to British Museum or Ashmolean Museum, you can see Fayum coffin portraits from Fayum, and they are very realistic, very well um, executed, very well made. So that's uh, brown, a little bit of brown. We can also paint a little or draw little snake cobra usually cobra snake I add a little bit more hair on the top of Josephine hand and then make her scared but this is really quick one you more than welcome really to do more elaborated work around and my advice is if you do pencil drawing use outline um, use outliner as a sharp maybe not sharpie sharpie actually is very thick but you actually can use sharpies to fill the colors in but uh, i i using this kind of ball paint to outline and uh, maybe snake in okra, okra color Oops. and that's it really what can what else I can use hmm, that's it <laughs> I will show you closer and just grab my camera right 
closer, closer, closer to her eye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I give you some inspiration to work out Egyptian style and walk like Egyptian drawing. Thank you.